My dear friends, we are here to talk about the post-pandemic church. Churches are opening up and uh, we will be back to what we were pre-lockdown situation. Let me tell you right at the start, having done some reflections on what the post-pandemic church will be, my list is not exhaustive. Secondly, it's not something very new I'm telling you. It's only thing I put it in a particular organized manner. And thirdly, I'm not here to give you solutions. Together we have to journey to find solutions. Let's start with what Pope Francis says about the pandemic. In his beautiful reflections during the time of the pandemic, he says, the evening has come, quoting the scriptures. We are all in the same boat. Rich country, poor country, rich people, rich, uh, poor people. We are all in the same boat. We are perishing, vulnerable. We are frightened. We are wondering what the future will be. And he says that we need to rediscover our future to shake off all the complacency and wake up to a new world that lies. And the last point he makes in that reflection, he says that we are all as a church body caught up in the tomb, frightened, uncertain, and the tombstone is there. And the beautiful phrase is, who will roll away the tombstone? We together will need to roll away the tombstone so we can emerge from the tombs happier, brighter and wiser. I was reading an article from Survival to Revival, Hoping to Coping in the newspaper it's a long article, but they make one pertinent point that the post-pandemic times will be different. We are talking about the new normal that has to come. He gives just one example to make that point. Many others also, but this is a striking one. He says that 9-11, when the Twin Towers of America were bombed, after that, the whole scenario changed with regard to security at the airports. Am I right? Yeah. We have got used to it. That's 20 years ago. But we have got used to it. Formerly, we used to take our luggage, we used to take liquids in our handbags and everything. All that has stopped. And we have got used to this kind of a security procedure. So, he says that the article in the article that we will have to get used to certain procedures post pandemic times. In the Vidya Jyoti, Father Dr. Joseph from Varanasi makes three relevant points. One, he says that I'm amazed at the massive intervention from the church side. The church has intervened during the pandemic and in a massive way. Innovative methods, they have taken the opportunities to look after the lost, the last and the least and all those who are troubled. Secondly, he says, there are a number of possibilities lined up. It's time we need to think of the possibilities, put our heads together and work them out. And thirdly, he says, we now need to work or operate networking. We have to change our style of functioning. 
so the church along with the secular bodies we need to network and move around let me bring to mind another article in the same vidya jyoti father dr rajakumar a jesuit he makes three relevant points he says the pandemic has forced us to see and search for a meaning for suffering and for struggle we have to find out people have gone through tough times and then we need to kind of discover what is the meaning of all this struggle and suffering secondly he says we need to be inspired with the models that existed during the coronavirus the pandemic people worked with different models lay people secular bodies corporate world as well as the church world they worked on a certain principle on a certain model we need to put all these different models together and get inspired by them and the third point he says is we need to have a kind of a spiritual vaccine he uses this word spiritual vaccine immunity boosters we have to find directions for hope and solace these are three relevant points made by dr rajkumar jesuit in that article in the vidya jyoti let me come now to the 10 points that i put forth where the 10 different areas that we are associated with we need to start thinking about you will get them on the screen as and when the areas are particularly mentioned the first one is the church itself in the church now there's a variety of liturgies that are available for the people we have some people watching the pope's mass then the cardinal's mass then the mass from porta then the mass from uh, ewtn and other sources from australia elsewhere so we are exposed to a variety of liturgies so this is the new normal that is going to set in so people are not just watching your mass in your parish and they've got used to it for so many years but now they have exposed so how it will impact them is something we need to think secondly we need to have a re look on theology spirituality ecclesiology what i mean is that so far we have always insisted that and rightly so that we need to have communion once a year at least confessions things change the phrase spiritual communion is a new thing for me and for others also and we went through it there is such a thing as a spiritual communion when times are difficult you couldn't make confession or communion you could talk to the priest and have the spiritual communion by saying the prayer so the whole ecclesiology will have to change will people come back to the churches is another question we'll need to wait and see they have got used to this kind of online masses online worship and it is so very convenient we'll need to find out whether we need to change or they will adapt back to the old custom of coming to the churches this is the new ecclesiology or the new theology or the new spirituality we'll need to ponder and thirdly the whole question of finances has taken a beating the church itself having lost all the collections and all may have kind of uh, reached out into its reserves people have learned to now make online neft bank accounts straight uh, their uh, donations or contributions to the bank so the whole system is going to change I'm only speaking about the finance but there are so many other systems that we'll need to kind of adopt. This is with regard to the one area the church. Let's take the second area. The children. You talk about the children in the school. 
I have seen in my own parish, in the school that I have, in 2020, I admitted about 250 students in the junior KG. They have not yet seen the school building the whole year. They were online or whether they were really watch, uh, coming online is another point to discuss. Now, in 2021, April, I've taken another 250 students in the junior KG. And they, till today, have not seen the school. So you have various people growing up without having come to the school. I'm associated with a technical school. And imagine for one and a half year, the instructors are teaching them practicals via online. How can they? He holds a wire, he holds the welding rod and is teaching the students how to weld. Is that the new thing that's going to come? So everything is online and we are getting a generation of people growing up in the online culture. Secondly, in the society, People take advantage. There is Baiju's and so many other coaching classes that have come up quite expensive. And they have invested a lot into online teaching. They have adapted methods from abroad and scientific ways and means of teaching. Now, that will be an additional burden to the family. And they advertise so well. They pour in that money because they want to get their results and the child is going to get affected. So also the parents, so also the family. And the third thing is that uh, children have now been one and a half year away, no interactions, no companions, no functions, no playing on the ground. This is the culture they have grown up for the last one and a half year. What impact it will have when they come back, I'm not too sure but we'll need to wait and watch. But these are definite impacts that are going to happen to the children. Let's take the youth and the working young adults. You know as much as I know that how the whole job security has taken a beating. And for these young people who were earning, say, 20,000, 30,000 and there were plenty of these jobs in the hospitality industry, aviation industry, hotels, our um, you know management of, uh, of weddings, other things that are there, event managements. They were making a sizable sum. May not be very big but it was enough to run the family and many others contributed. All these have come to a stop. Now will they pick up? I'm not too sure. Young people are frustrated and we keep telling them find other skills that you need to kind of update. It's easier said than done. People cannot, after having gone through years of a particular trade or skill, pick up very easily another skill. There have been examples. Someone who had been in the aviation industry, Jet Airways or something like that, a top manager, now is doing contract work. But that's one possibility where the person has taken the challenge. But there are many others who cannot. People working in the, in the BPOs, in the call centers, suddenly they have been told not to come. They have to pick up other things, whether it is photography, whether it is some other things that they have to pick up. But they had to learn. Few will take up the challenge. What about the rest? It's a difficult scenario to even contemplate. Counselors tell me that the young minds are definitely impacted. Now, when the whole thing lifts up, the post-pandemic thing will be a rush from the younger section to be together with their friends, to have fellowships, this will increase. Now, whether the habits, inverted comma habits, or other addictions will come in, I am not sure. I pray that it does not. But we'll need to 
see how the young minds are being impacted by loss of job and loss of a culture of their own which they were used to for so many years let's take the families families itself there have been a lot of conflicts in the families when the economy is down when the money is down normally the conflicts increase and so when all of them are at home formerly at least some used to be out for work or 8 to 10 hours they don't bump into each other they don't rub shoulders but here they were all together over there conflicts increase when people are there the work from home is a new concept we never thought of it earlier now people say probably that's an answer in the future you don't have to travel you save so much time you can work from home the other side of it is formerly it was 9 to 5 or whatever 8 to uh, 4 or something like that now with work from home culture it is right through the day and even at night the phone calls or the work increases so the pros and cons one thing is that you don't have to travel you can be at home convenient enough but the other thing is that the work tensions will increase so these are a few things that will uh, that will add up to, uh, when the uh, whole society opens up post pandemic my friend father godfrey a uh, trained psychologist tells me that the impact on the families is going to be very 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 great talk about stress tra- talk about trauma talk about anxiety talk about fear talk about uncertainty take one example father godfrey says you have lost your loved one because of the COVID. that grief is still within you you have not been able to kind to come in terms with that grief what do you do all these need to be settled post pandemic hidden issues are there within yourselves that need to be addressed and we need to take stock of such situations we had a seniors citizens club in my parish and i'm sure other parishes elsewhere in the whole country they have something for the senior citizen they have been impacted a lot by this lockdown they are inside they have been told not to move out they are vulnerable and so the whole kind of scenario the ambience with which this new uh, situation of post pandemic will come in we need to wait and watch and see how the seniors are going to be affected by it by seniors i mean our parents our grandparents our uncles our aunts all of them were there locked inside and very often they were told that the virus might attack them and then it is difficult for them to go and run to the hospital and take care of their health so these are a few things that have affected the family let me take the fifth one the fifth one are the priests or the clergy or the religious in every parish i went to one suburban parish and then one priest over there he was quite happy not too many people maybe 2000 people so about say 400 to 500 families and he was quite happy he was with them the families used to come to the church in the evening and a small number he didn't have bigger tensions and they were also very supportive i just met him and i said what have you been doing he said father it's so difficult to explain to you it has been a real trauma for me staying inside that place in that flat or in that church premise and not being able to come out parishioners who would support you are not able to meet you how that has impacted the whole kind of enthusiasm enthusiasm 
of the priests or the religious i was hearing from another community in the middle east or in the far east they were there having a convent and they say we are really frustrated the sisters are saying we should do so much and for the last one year we have not even come out of the building if things have to be brought they are brought to the building or to the convent how do we come out of this kind of a frustration that the priests and religious had to face how will they cope up in the post pandemic church that is to emerge some have taken it quite well they have found time for prayer which they could not do before they have found time to prepare their sermons and put hours into it which they could not do before some have found the new ways of new hobbies or new skills or new things to keep in touch with the people these are some examples but by and large we need to see how the priests and the religious face the post pandemic situation let's take employment i've said it before there's an economic meltdown and people have lost their jobs i'm talking only about my one parish which might give you an kind of an idea what has happened i have a parish which is 18000 people most of them working crowd used to be in the aviation that is in the in the airlines not the top jobs but they used to be in the airports 101 jobs they used to do get a decent salary may not be lakhs but they used to get a decent salary a whole lot of them were in the hotels and a catholic youth were very much uh, liked in the hotels industry the hospitality industry they were doing quite well suddenly the hotels have all closed down many were event managers many were working also in the call center some stayed on some were told to leave now the lesser ones who were not that well educated were working in the many malls that were there present in the uh, in the city i do not know the uh, what's happening in your own town or city but probably i'm just giving you an example from my own parish how the employment situation is so very bad and therefore everyone needs to restart things will not be the same it will aviation industry will take another year to come back hospitality industry another one year to be how it was before now during that time many things change the whole system will change they will find newer ways of catering maybe delivery services all these are new things that will emerge and we'll have to kind of face this employment scenario also people who were working very well never came to the church requesting aid they didn't need to suddenly they have to solo their pride and come and say father can you help me out it's not all that easy and slowly to get back on their own feet it's going to be difficult so the church needs to address this situation how do we deal with people not only who come to us but others who feel shy to request or ask for aid what about the group working those who are 50 and above they were doing quite well suddenly the lockdown means all the elder people were told to move out or they were told to stop coming they will not get a job now because of the age factor what will they do so what i'm trying to say is that the whole situation vis-a-vis employment job opportunities is different in the post pandemic world so all is not lost there is hope but the church along with others lately especially will need to kind of work out ways and means of how they can tackle the situation 
I am not here to give you direct answers. I am here to only throw suggestions so that you can work out along with the others. But these are few things that I want to say. What about our church organization, small Christian communities, parish councils, associations, all have been on the sleeping mode for the last one and a half year. Some things have been happening. I know in my own diocese in uh, Mumbai that uh, the SCCs to the extent possible have gone out and helped others, whether financial aid, rations given, helping the elders. Yeah, but uh, they were not with their full force as before because of the restrictions that were there. But nevertheless, quite a few did quite a lot for the people that came in contact with them. But we need to kind of see how we can have the post-pandemic church wherein associations, communities, parish council, small Christian communities once again get back their vigor. How it can be done? We'll all need to put our minds together and see that. People have lost that little bit of enthusiasm. We need to revive that enthusiasm. Let's take the migrants. I don't need to tell you, it's all over the world, how migrants have been facing that trouble. People have come from outside into the city and now they were told, go back treated ruthlessly, beaten up, some walking miles together to reach back because there were no buses and trains. They were treated like they were nobody. This mindset needs to change. Pope Francis is very clear on that. We need to welcome the migrants. We need to protect the migrants. We need to promote and integrate the migrants. And therefore, wherever we are in a city or town, it is not they versus we, it is us. Slowly we need to learn that the city runs because of the migrants, the town runs because of the migrants. All the menial works are done by the migrants. We need them. So if we need them, we need to be kind to them. We cannot say, work has stopped, so now you go back to your villages. This is harsh. And when you, we need you, we will call you back. This is not done. I know it's a big problem. I'm not here to offer easy solutions. But we need to take care of migrants. I'm in charge of migrants and domestic workers, and I need a lot of patience to work out ways and means. And we nearly rolled out a big amount of money to help them during the crisis, almost a crore. I'm in charge of the Domestic Workers Society for the whole of India and being in charge of it, we had stories of how domestic workers faced their struggles and their suffering. Other migrants from the city of Mumbai going out and you must have faced about uh, in your own town migrants moving out. We need to take care of the migrants. We have now a, a migrants desk in our diocese. We need to have a migrant center in your own places so that the little we can do makes much in their lives and they can have a smile on their face rather than being used, abused. That's not the right thing. Health. We all know what the situation was in the country when the second wave came in. Maybe at the first wave, we were finding our feet. The second wave came in. I know of my own family member. In spite of all my influence, I was finding it difficult to get one bed in a hospital. One bed to give them oxygen. What about the others who may not have had that kind of an influence? So many people died. In my own parish, in the last one and a half year, there were about 170 funerals. I'm not saying all died of COVID, but the sizable number. 
so many lost their loved ones and all because a health industry if i can call that industry or a health outreach could not match up to the onslaught of the pandemic hospitals were overflowing no equipments medical bills were high how will the people survive the government did not put in a lot of money in this infrastructure well they put in money for roads for for uh, metros but what about the health industry or the health outreach centers we had in our city of mumbai just three or four hospitals where people could get some kind of a free treatment or semi free treatment others had to go to the private hospitals did the government invest enough for the poor people and when in my own city of mumbai 48% people are from out and poor the migrants those uh, working below uh, in the menial work or uh, those below the poverty line how will they go to the private hospitals how will they get the medicines that the doctors had prescribed so we need to rethink the church has done wonderful work in some places and i congratulate them they have reached out to the people to the poor people given them medicines uh, free uh, seen to their uh, uh, admission into the into the into the hospitals great probably we need to double our efforts we need to see to the whole health care in a parish in a city and of course the whole country many schemes are be coming from the government whether they are reaching the poor or whether the poor are able to understand what these schemes are is another thing my own community center is involved full time into making people understand what the schemes are and how they can apply to it so probably we all need to wake up to this challenge and the last point is the whole question of environment many have said the pandemic comes in to remind us that we have abused the environment climate change is the new word that's so because we get a heat wave and then plenty of rain floods on the one side droughts floods are there all these are signs of the changing environment or what we say climate change probably we have not taken care of pollution and other things care of creation is not there see the garbage that is piling up how the cars the buses the transport all are moving into the into the roads and the by lanes of the city or the town causing more and more pollution i am not saying stop that but have we taken notice of it no a pandemic had to come to remind us of it that we need to care for creation probably in some parishes for the first time groups have collected to care for creation to do something about the environment that's some parishes probably every parish will now to have to take this on a war footing and so i need to conclude i told you about the 10 areas and my reflections were there we need to kind of put our thinking cap you will see that on the screen once again i want to conclude by saying the pandemic has been a great teacher it has reminded me and all of us not to take things for granted not to take life for granted not to take my family for granted not to take my church for granted not to take my work for granted and not to take god for granted it's a great teaching it's a great teaching we took so many things for granted we need to connect for the first time in my parish because of the pandemic we learned to connect with people so every month there were two or three programs though people were not coming we were connecting with them we never did this before we never thought of it before because everyone was coming to the church 
we need to connect with people and there were a whole lot of people we were not connecting with we need to kind of get back to them in an article in the examiner the editorial was that we need to be digital don dd synodal servants ss cultural crusader cc let me explain shortly digital don for the first time i have also learned a lot about uh, how to work on the laptop how to live stream or things so we need to go more and more into that digital don digital don secondly synodal survival synodal servants the synod in rome is about synodality means journeying the word synod means journeying for the first time i journeyed a lot with the suffering people I understood what they were going through and i think we need to continue doing that the synodality that is journeying with our people in their struggle also in their happiness for the first time i learned what it meant and thirdly cultural crusader many values are going away many new values will emerge post pandemic how do we deal with this values that will emerge post pandemic is something we need to think of and so an invisible virus has affected us so much it's visible the effect all over the world we have learned the preciousness of life we thought that god did not exist we could manage on our own suddenly we are face to face with a god who will journey with us in our struggle the church has been in quarantine it's time to wake up there's an online slot how do we get into the newer challenges of of line services and so my dear friends as i said before who will roll away the tombstone all of us need to put our minds together that this tombstone that has locked us in is removed god bless you great joy and deep faith we now pray the rosary the rosary is a beautiful prayer which our lady invited us to pray continuously i think especially of the youth and i invite all our youth in a particular way to join me as we pray this rosary and reflect on our discipleship of jesus the rosary has been the favorite prayer of the saints of the popes of families it's a beautiful family prayer and invite all families to join me as we pray we pray for the country we pray for the city we pray for our families and we pray for the youth Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. You will come again to church with the bank of the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Jesus suffered tremendously in Gethsemane, suffered so much that he sweated blood. And with him, as he was suffering, our united sufferings of all the world, our own pain, our own anxieties, our own sicknesses, our own sorrows. He carried them all to Gethsemane, and we carry them all to Gethsemane, to unite them with Jesus' suffering. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, forgive us from the fires of death, lead all souls to heaven, especially those that most need thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Jesus was scourged, beaten mercilessly, pained, humiliated. Isn't that what's happening now in our society sometimes? With moral values 
being debunked, spirituality given second place, abortion, dishonesty, exploitation, sin, immorality, all that is scourging of Jesus. Every time I sin, I add to Jesus' pain. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, forgive us from the fires of death, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those that most need thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Sin begins in the mind, sin is planned in the mind, and so is all evil. As we pray this mystery, we think of sins of the mind, of pride, of envy, of anger, of hatred, of every form of prejudice, of dishonest means to get power. We pray for ourselves, the suffering of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those that most need thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Each one of us has our own cross in our life, a problem in the home, a sickness, some failure, some consistent nagging difficulty. All these crosses, big and small, are united to Jesus' cross. Jesus carried his cross out of love for us and we carry our crosses out of love for him and dedication to our brothers and sisters. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those that most need thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the death of our Lord on the cross. 
Jesus was crucified, he died a very painful death, but a death which he accepted to redeem us, to save us from sin, to take us back to the Father. At this moment, when we think of him on the cross, we can only adore him, we can only thank him, we can only love him. That's the only response we can make for his crucifixion and death. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, forgive us from the fires of death, lead all souls to heaven, especially those that most need thy mercy. Thy mercy. Thy mercy. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweet son, son of hope. To thee we cry, O banished children of Eve. To thee to be sent of our sighs, mourning and weeping, in this veil of tears. Turn then into the spacious advocate, that thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, O only begotten, begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech Thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. To the, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of Our Lady. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. 
Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Version most prudent, pray for us. Version most venerable, pray for us. Version most renowned, pray for us. Version most powerful, pray for us. Version most merciful, pray for us. Version most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. For us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived of original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into Heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, pray for us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant me this O Lord God, that it be your service may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Memorare, remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unneeded. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.